Good morning, folks. We are in wait-and-see mode with Comet Ison. In the post-outburst splendor, speculation ranges from multi-ice vein sublimation and outgassing to complete breakup of the nucleus. The first of which is what we predicted after learning that half the comet hadn't seen the sun and was likely building pressure beneath the surface. Keep an eye on the links provided below. We'll know a lot by early next week. Let's kick it to weather and begin using the Tropical Rainfall Measurement Mission from NASA. Flash flood and landslide potential in South and Central America where the rainfall accumulation is major, Southern Brazil taking the most of it. There's also flash flood reports in isolated areas of South Africa. Without major accumulation, that must have been a heck of a downpour. Cold coming in from the West and South, while Northeast sees more rain than it has in a while. Low over Southwestern Europe still mixing it up, but also doing so in Germany and the UK where it converges with the Northeastern high pressure. Colder air, Shifting to the southeast to meet very warm moisture from the Gulf. There was major severe weather in some central states last night. It's going to move over my head today. Kicking to space weather where a new gamma burst was just received as the new day began out of Celestial South. Meanwhile, the muon chart on Bartol has been off for a while. Cosmic rays at normal levels though. Solar wind was dropping off a bit but we took a little jolt this morning. KP not in major response but does know something else nudged us. Solar flaring can't best an M1, which it did match this morning and pop the CME we'll see momentarily. First we got to look at these sunspots. Starting in the south, major decay from what we saw when they crested, now on their way exiting. Leading group is nearly turned and contains the most complexion. And even without deltas, we have gamma class in that big backside. That's when bipolarity cannot be separated with one continuous line and the mixed polarity umbras are spread across the group, yet without mixing with each other to form delta spots. We also have some new sunspot groups cresting in, both south and to the north. Now, let's look at the mega spot. Huge umbra, with a curious bit in the center. It was even worse last night when I could swear I saw positive blue within the negative red. It has never been seen to this degree. With this detail, and by the way, these gray images are the Doppler gram, available on the same page as the intensity and magnetograms. I was asking for some observers' help in the evening news finding out about this. They found many great sources, some I had seen, some I hadn't, including evidence of beta meshing within a penumbral group. Even our best shots for as long as we've been watching the sun can't touch what we've just seen in the last 24 hours. It's the best evidence of umbral twist and helicity via multiple devices here. Definitely the best example of this ever seen with human eyes. The coronal and umbral fields were closed, but they wanted to pop open once more again, and even without major power down south, we watched the bottom of the world rock again. Only this time, it was a near eight-pointer. Just happened this morning. There are no buoys down there. No reports of tsunamis just yet. Shots of the minor CME released this morning to close. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.40 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.